We know that there are workforce challenges in the NHS and these challenges present a risk to patient safety. We've heard through national investigations to date of several issues that impact on the workforce such as problems with computer systems not talking to each other and where demand on healthcare services is in excess to the resources those services have available to them. So we wanted to identify where we could help and where we could inform improvements for patient safety. So we reviewed reports, research, we spoke to lots of people across the NHS and the wider healthcare system about where HSIB's unique approach, that system level investigatory approach, might help inform improvements for patient safety and staff wellbeing. And ultimately we came up with four investigations that we hope will inform improvements in the working conditions for staff and therefore ultimately patient safety. The digital environment, that's how IT systems are used in healthcare and how those IT systems talk to each other or not and that impact on patient safety. We're going to be looking at prioritising patient care. So that's how the clinical workforce are used and how they may be drawn away to non-clinical focused tasks and the impact on patient safety. We're going to be looking at skill mix and staff integration. So that's how new roles are introduced into healthcare to ensure that there is the right skill mix to deliver safe patient care. And finally, we're looking at temporary staff. So that's how we use locum, agency, bank staff, and how they are supported to give safe patient care. We're going to start these investigations in the community. That will be GP practices and community care providers. We may then extend into hospitals and maybe specialist hospitals. To do this, we will be talking to staff that work in those areas. We'll be talking to patients that are users of services in those areas. And we will be observing how staff work. So looking at how work is done in the environments. When we've completed the investigations, the aim is to publish reports. Those reports will be available via our website. Each of those reports will describe what we've done and the findings of each of the investigations so people can see the process that we've gone through. Where appropriate as well, we will make safety recommendations to national bodies to inform changes, improvements to the working conditions for staff and therefore ultimately patient safety. The reports themselves and other information around the investigations is available on our website. And we also have a mailing list and would encourage people to subscribe to our mailing list so they can keep track of the investigations and the wider work of HSIB. We are really keen to hear the voice of people that use services, from people that are going to GP practices, people that are receiving healthcare from community healthcare providers. We're keen to hear from staff working in those areas. And we're also keen to hear from system leaders, so people with a responsibility for leading those areas. In addition to that, we are really keen to hear from GP practices and community healthcare providers who would be willing to support investigators coming to their area to observe how work is done and to speak to staff and to speak to patients. More information about how you can do this is on our website.